we have another absolutely insane Me Too movement situation on our hands right here where another filmmaker from Hollywood is being absolutely destroyed by the Me Too movement and this everything is coming for this man. Everything is coming to destroy him. I don't know he if he found out something that he wasn't supposed to and that is why all of this is happening to him. Maybe they're trying to destroy him and silence him. That is very possible, but the, the weird thing about this person that I found very fascinating is that by everything that I've seen about this person, he is himself a wokester. He is one of them. So the reason that they are canceling him is very strange to me, but this person is none other than the director of No Time to Die, Kerry Fukunaga, and he is being uh, accused of some very insane things. And we're going to kind of go through this and see what what all is going on here. And of course, the, this is hilarious because he's basically getting bitten on in, in the ass by the very people that he has been a part of. He's, he is one of them. Like I said, he is a wokester himself. And so the fact that all these wokesters are now turning on him to destroy him is fascinating to watch, to say the least. So, No Time to Die director Kerry Fukunaga accused of inappropriate behavior by multiple women. He needs to be stopped. Multiple women have publicly accused No Time to Die director Kerry Fukunaga of inappropriate workplace behavior. The women are claiming that the 44-year-old director used his power and influence to coerce young women into having relationships with him. So now all the mainstream media is writing articles about him and everything else. And a lot of people have very different opinions on this and what is going on here. So... There's a lot of people that are basically calling this out as BS because there's no actual evidence of what is going on here. It's all just accusations. An, an entire Me Too campaign launched against Kerry Fukunaga. And once again, I have to ask, why? What is going on here? What does he know that they don't want him to, to, to say? What does he know? What is going on? Did he find out something he wasn't supposed to? That is really the only thing that I can think of, but... None of this really makes sense. There's definitely something that is happening behind the scenes with Kerry Fukunaga that is causing this to happen. There's a Me Too campaign afoot to destroy the career and reputation of No Time to Die Kerry Fukunaga, and it's a pretty desperate one because no one's come up with the goods. So there's an entire article released in the Rolling Stone about, about this, and no evidence was brought forward it's just people with wild accusations and that is it <coughs> so um excuse me i'm still trying to recover from being sick but um so and there there he's being accused of of grooming women which doesn't make sense because that's actually not even really a thing because all of these women were were uh you know they're all adults he none, none of the accusations are coming from minors so it couldn't have been grooming if anything, it was maybe seduction, but that's that's all you could really throw at, at him for that. And then sexual harassment, but there's no evidence of any of these things. It's just people that are making all these claims about him, and that is about it. So you can read through this entire article if you want to here, but basically... Um, he was taking pictures of different people, and then it turned into other things, is what they're claiming. So, <laughs> excuse me. Been, uh, this sickness has really just kicked my ass, man. I'm telling you. But anyway, so at the end of the article here, they say there's nothing wrong with being attracted to young women. There's nothing wrong with flirting at work. There's nothing unusual or criminal about relationships that end with one or both parties filled with regret and mixed feelings. Life is tough for everyone, but especially for spoiled, entitled, neurotic, bitter women who think it could be it should be a crime every time someone makes them feel uncomfortable. As far as Fukunaga, Fukunaga he's being hoisted by his own petard. And as you can see here, this is indeed the case. So... <coughs> you built that carry enjoy the ride son so this is something that he said in the past this is something that uh fukunaga himself said no time to die director smears sean connery's bond as rapist so basically this person carry fukunaga is someone that is a wokester himself and he tried to implement some of this woke ideology into the no time to die james bond film so he decided that he would, uh, you know, change a lot of the stuff that made James Bond, James Bond for the film. He decided that he would, um, you know, put in these female characters that were better at being Bond than James Bond was. 
And he continued to, uh, you know, call Sean Connery's James Bond as a, uh, a, a toxic person, basically. And it got even worse. So he said this uh, in regards to the film as well. <coughs> um, so apparently they struggled to try to keep Donald Trump out of the film. And that is something that they really tried to struggle with because it was so hard. Because, I mean, it was probably hard for them because at this point, everyone in Hollywood basically was suffering from TDS. So, of course, Trump was on their minds 24-7. So, I can imagine it probably would be a little bit hard trying to keep Trump out of the film. So, all this to say was that Fukunaga is not an innocent person in himself. He is someone who is one of them. Which is why I find this all so fascinating that all this is coming back to bite him on the ass. So... We're going to continue to monitor the story and see what's going on here. It's very possible that... <coughs> it's very possible that um, more more information can come out about him in regards to this. And we'll continue to monitor that and see what's going on. But in the meantime, let me know what you think is going on here. Why do you think everyone is churning on this man? Why do you think that the Me Too movement has basically launched a campaign to destroy this man's re reputation and career? What do you think is going on here? I don't agree with that, and I totally am condemning that, but two truths can be... There can be two things that are true at the same time, right? So, it is true that I totally condemn everything that the Me Too movement is doing to try to destroy his career. I think that is wrong. But I also think that Kerry Fukunaga has also kind of created his own Frankenstein in regards to a lot of this. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.